the weather yesterday awesome? It was perfect. Oh my gosh, today perfect. won't be quite as perfect. Because there'll be a couple of clouds. A couple clouds mixed in, but it's going to still be around 80 degrees later on. Look at this sunrise shot, you guys. Beautiful start to our Wednesday morning here. We're talking about temperatures not as cool as this time yesterday either because of some of that cloud cover out there. Now we're dry today with filtered sunshine, downpours and thunder on the way for tomorrow. You want the wet weather gear with you for sure. It's going to be humid too. First heat wave inland will start on Friday for some of us last through the weekend and potentially into the start of next week as well. Beach relief. There will be some sea breezes that kick in right at the coastline this weekend back down to Cape Cod and that will keep us a little bit cooler than everybody else through the interior. Temperatures right now 64 in Boston, 57 in Worcester. 52 in Keene, a lot of spots. Upper 50s to lower 60s. There's that satellite and radar. Radar scopes are quiet, but the satellite shows some of those clouds streaming in. Those clouds come out ahead of showers and downpours that are pushing through parts of the Great Lakes and down through the Ohio Valley. And this is the wet weather that's going to be working in our direction tomorrow. So, no wet weather to worry about today. Upper 70s. Low 80s, another nice summer afternoon. The clouds will start to thicken up a bit, particularly during the second half of the day. Turning humid tonight, showers develop mainly after midnight. Overnight lows drop back into the 60s. We'll be breezy today. We'll be breezy tomorrow as well. I want to time out the wet weather for you. Notice after midnight, a few showers do move in. Tomorrow morning will be a slow morning commute, especially towards the tail end of the commute as downpours and embedded thunder roll in. Locally heavy rainfall. Look at the map tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. Some deeper oranges and reds in here. So any embedded thunderstorms may contain some lightning and perhaps some brief gusty wind. There may be a couple of storms that are become strong to damaging tomorrow during the morning hours to midday. Notice what happens too through the afternoon. We still contend with showers, downpours, and thunder that should taper off to leftover showers during the evening hours. How much rain is going to fall for most of us? Half an inch to an inch and a half. Don't focus on the exact number here, but just keep in mind that there will likely be some locally higher amounts to top out over two, three inches in some of the heaviest downpours that come through tomorrow. So there will likely be an impact on the road, some big puddles, some standing water during the morning and afternoon tomorrow. Socks, angels tonight, 710, looking good. The clouds thicken, will be in the mid 70s. Humid with the threat for some showers for tomorrow night's game, so I'd have the uh, umbrella or the raincoat with you, I should say, to pop up that hood um, if we can squeeze the game in. High temperatures tomorrow will be in the 70s. Kind of balances out with the humidity. Friday, sun's back. We're going to be pushing 90 plus inland. Taunton, Norwood, Providence, Fitchburg, Manchester, 90 plus. Little sea breeze at the coast will keep the coastline about 82 to 88 from Cape Cod to eastern Massachusetts. Weekend, dry, humid, hot. 92 inland on Saturday, 95 on Sunday. Be in the 80s at the coast, still 90 plus on Monday, upper 80s on Tuesday with a chance of a late day thunderstorm. 